Hello everyone, Sigli here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I want to show you a way, like a very lazy way, that you can capitalize on inscription. And to my understanding, you don't actually need to be a subscriptioner to do this. But uh, I'm going to show you a couple of ways, well, not a couple of ways, like a way that I'm, I'm doing to... Like, get get like a few golds here and there, and so it's kind of simple. But uh, if uh, in Stormwind, you could probably, you can do this at, as Horde as well. I don't remember where the inscription trainer is. I think it's like pretty close to the enchanting vendor in Orgrimmar. I, I'm pretty sure it is. But either way, you will have an inscription uh, supplier vendor. And I'm just going to do like this a little bit quick uh, just gonna print screen on the wait okay <laughs> sorry uh, there save let's save it there and the next one and it's just the inferno yeah so let's do like this and save there we go so at this vendor, you can spend the Black Fellow ink to to change it to uh, different kind of inks. And if you have a subscriptioner, you can uh, a lot of the times make like a easy calculation of what how much would a Black Fellow ink cost compared to let's say for example the Ethereal ink, which costs a, a, almost twelve gold at the moment on the auction house. So. <clears throat> You can even see it here, converted value vendor trade. It's it's like nine nine gold, almost ten gold in raw profit if you would do it this way. And I'm gonna link in the description below a, a trade skill master uh, string just to search for these items so you can like see it like what the cost of Blackfellow ink is gonna be and all the other kind of inks because you can just like I I know for a fact that I bought uh, I bought the black fellow ink for I think it was like wait I already have them oh okay I have to empty the bag but um, I did buy them for I think it was like there we go uh, yeah, I bought them for four. Well, okay, let's average it out. I spent five gold each for this. So, for the Black Fellow Ink. And just by doing this, we can, we can clearly see that. Let me do it like this as well. Slash TSM. And I have a group here. Uh, Black Fellow in uh, Infernal Ink is. I should actually change this just ink. There we go. That, that's perfect. So here I have all the inks and I have the ashen uh, ashen pigment also. It's just because you need that one in order to make the black fellow ink. So sometimes as an inscription, you can actually gain more by buying the pigments. But that is like very rare because there's a lot of people that does it. But if we spent five gold each on this, let's go to the auction house. Just so I can show you what we could spend it on. Because it's a very simple way to to be like, uh, yeah, just making gold. And you don't actually need to be a subscriptioner to do this. Because you can just buy the the uh, Blackfellow ink straight out, straight out from the auction house. And let me do like this. We do like this. And we make sure we have the TSM. And run shopping scan. So just by doing it like this, we will see pretty soon uh, where what we could spend it on. And I'm also gonna show uh, these two images. There we go. So here we go. This is what the infernal ink is gonna cost. So that's five, uh, ten. I mean that you need. And then you have these these inks, because I, that's what took so long in the beginning. I had to print screen them, just so I can, uh, yeah. Uh, have them here for reference. Then move this one. I I've learned in the past that sometimes my video is like in the way. So yeah, but <clears throat> let's start looking here. So this is the current price of the Blackfellow ink. 
and I bought it for this price. So let's say about five gold. And if we go down, here you see the ethereal ink that I was talking about. So if I would buy, if I would use, let's pull up a calculator here. So we spent, well, almost that much gold. So let's take this one. Let's average it out to 12 gold minus five. So that's a seven gold profit for each single one. And remember to not put every egg into one basket and be like, oh, this is the most profitable one. Let's go with that one. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, because, yeah, it's just better to spread it all out and be like, yeah, you have a higher chance to sell a little bit of everything rather than focusing on one thing. But I mean, even with this one, the moon ink glow, that's, uh, no, wait. Yeah, it was. Yeah, this one. So even that one, that's 19 gold minus 5. So that's 14 gold profit. So, okay, let's see. Moon glow ink. We're going to have the ethereal ink. Uh, ethereal. Yeah, the moon glow and ethereal ink. So just by buying the Blackfellow ink from the auction house, you can, do, you can go, you can, yeah, you can collect them. Run to the vendor. Over here. Because it, it, it's such an easy way. You don't need to be a, a, a subscriptioner to do this. And what did I say? The moon glow, yeah, this one. So let's say that I buy 10. So there, I converted into these ones. So, let's do like this. So if I place it like this, that's 49 gold in minimum buyout. If I would buy 10 of these. And if I sell them, it's going to be 189. So, let's take 190. So again, 190 minus, how much did I say it was? Well, 50. So that's 140 gold profit if I would sell this. It's not going to be a fast sell. Remember that. And don't spend all your money on this. But I'm, I'm going to do it like I maybe 10. And then when I run out, I just do it again and again and again. So don't spend all your gold on this. But just do it on an alt. Just send a few gold there. And try to like start with 100 gold or something on it. And do like in small piles. And maybe it would stack up in the long run. And let's do with this one as well. I think it was this one, right? Yeah, Ethereal. And let's see. We can even take the Shimmering Ink as well. Let's see. We got... Uh, that's not profitable because this is 415. Uh, that's not that much profit. Uh, the Moonlight we could take. And let's see. We can take... Let's actually go with that. So, just by doing this, and I would put them in in stacks of three. Because if we go like this, uh, Shimmering Ink, you are going to need three of them. So, sure, I maybe it's better to buy like, uh, like nine or twelve, just because now you're going to have one left over. So, yeah. Learning from my mistakes. But now I'm, I, I would post these inks in stacks of three. Because you need three of them in order to craft a glyph. So let's go in here. Sell. There. Ethereal ink. Sell. So th just these three is 107 gold. So that's going to be 107. Well, like a 50 gold profit on just these ones. And let's let's take these. Uh, no, that not that one. Uh, let's take these ones. And we have the there was one else, right? Yeah, the midnight one. Yeah, there we go. And there. So now, like on the auction house, I I I know that I have more. But uh, um, I have a lot more. Oh, well, not really. Just re just to remove these ones. Yeah. So, that's going to be 
What's that? Nine, nine, nine. Okay, so yeah. But I mean, it's it's just an easy way to do this, and it's super simple. You don't need to be an inscriptioner to do this. It's just an easy flip that I've well, pretty much like I started to do. I haven't really thought about this earlier, but I mean, it would work. It, it should work, and. Sometimes you can do like a like a calculation, like I said in the beginning. Is the the Black Fellow ink cheap enough that you could buy it from auction house? Change it to let's say the Moonglow. Well, I actually had one left here. Moonglow. Here we go. Three, three. So there's even more. But I mean, it's just super simple way to do it. And like, okay, I'm just changing my mind all the time. Try to see what the price on the Blackfellow ink is. And most of the time you can actually like it, unless you have all the like glyphs on a particular like uh, like on your on your in your uh, on your inscriptioner. The uh, ethereal ink, for example, like if it costs this much, the glyph is gonna be more. It, it's probably gonna be like I mean you need three of them, so that's 33. In total of this, you you would probably make even ten to twenty more gold even from the from the glyphs. But keep in mind, this is not a fast sale, and don't overspend on it. But yeah, that's just a short tip. Um, if you're new to the channel, consider to subscribe and like this page and click on the notification bell if you felt like this is helping you, so you don't miss out on my any of my future videos. And if you click on this video. You're gonna see how um, how I'm gonna like be able to play this game for free in uh, in uh, yeah like every month pretty much. So like there's a little uh, not like a new one, but it's a uh, it's a strategy for an alt that you can make in Cataclysm Classic. But click on this video and I'll greet you over there.